Hello everyone, welcome to Mentors Pool. My name is Ankit and today in this video we are going to cover or briefly understand what is continuous integration and continuous delivery service we have on business technology platform. So let's get started with this uh, just for your information. There are a lot of other videos with respect to uh, BTP audit log management service, uh, BTP alert notification service, BTP transport management service, and then uh, BTP application logging service, BTP DevOps, BTP auto scaler service, BTP identity provisioning service, BTP identity authentication service, and uh, BTP cloud entry services, and BTP connectivity services, destination service, build work zone service. So there are videos available for all these. Uh, services go ahead and watch and subscribe our channel so that any further uh, you know whatever you know, videos we upload for other services on BTP you can go ahead and refer them to enhance your knowledge in that. So let's go ahead and start uh, our topic for the day which is uh, continuous integration and continuous delivery. So guys uh, uh, what is continuous integration and continuous delivery? Uh, this is actually uh, a part of DevOps. Okay. So normally what happens in a real time environment? OK, so you have uh, let's say you have an application development project, right? And there are some developers who are developing that application, right? So when they develop the application, they need to go ahead and uh, you know deploy those application in different environments on BTP. OK, so definitely there is manual way that they can just go ahead and develop application, create a, a, a complete file and can directly go ahead and deploy, deploy there manually in either Cloud Foundry environment, a app environment or Kaima environment. But normally it, this doesn't work like this in real time environment where you may have 15 developers and you have three to four different projects going on which uh, they are working, right? So they'll definitely be developing their own, uh, right? Uh, IDE, maybe Visual Studio Code they are using or biz build uh, uh, business application studio they are using, right? So what they do, they will push their code in one of the version control system. It could be Git or Azure repo or AWS commit, you know, other many other GitLabs and uh, Bitbucket, other uh, version control systems are available, right? And then what happens? This BTP CI CD service will automatically pick up the code from these repositories. OK, and it will do the it will build the code, right? So in DevOps, you have build test scanning the security specifications, acceptance testing, compliance check and then release, right? So these tasks should happen automatically, right? So this BTP sir, CI CD service automatically pick up the code from these repositories, okay? And then code building happens, which may be done by different uh, code building tools. Maybe for Java, it is a Maven, or for PHP, it is a uh, Composer, or for uh, uh, Node.js, it is NPM, right? Or for .NET, it is a Nugget, right? So the code building automatically happens and then once code is built and then uh, the unit testing should be performed. Maybe a different testing tools comes in a picture like Selenium, QTP or others, right? But you know, definitely that doesn't matter uh, for us because it's a managed service. So what is uh, SAP is using behind the scenes, it doesn't matter for me, right? It's just it should build my code or it should do testing and then it should do malware scanning and then it sh should do accept this testing and it should do compliance check and it should release if everything is fine, right? Once it is released, then it can be deployed to a environment, right? Maybe a Cloud Foundry environment, a BAP environment, Kaima environment, whatever you're going to use, right? So this is services available on BTP. Let me try. Open that service. So just give me a moment. Yeah, I have this service subscribed, so I'll just quickly open this. OK, so guys, uh, there are three things you have credentials here. You will have credentials of your Git repositories or source system and target system where these codes are getting. So whatever integrations you do, you for those integrations, when the communication happens, though, you know, you need to do authentication. So that's why you need to maintain some credentials here and also the repositories, right? Your uh, whatever repository, whatever uh, version control systems you have, which you'll integrate here from where the CICD need to pick the code from and then some jobs you need to do, right? 
so in jobs what you have to do is uh, i cannot create job because i have to first integrate the repositories and then then only i can create a jobs and once i create a job uh, actually the uh, flow uh, happens like this so as soon as i create a job whatever uh, you know the version control systems are integrated it will pick up the code from here and will do every single thing whatever i said and then it will be deployed in the environments available to you right so this is guys uh, a quick view on btp uh, ci cd service but yeah we have to do a lot of configuration to achieve this setup okay and it is just a, a part of uh, btp devops uh, it, it alone cannot do much thing so it have to be integrated with uh, this uh, uh, these version control tool and also maybe you want to have a transport management as well where you may need to deploy the code in three different environments then definitely you need transport management as well in between where you will have to integrate transport management here and also you can integrate this alert notification service and which will trigger if there is something wrong happens during these processes right so uh, you can look out uh, for other like transport management video or devops video or alert notification service which is already available in my channel go ahead and look into it and uh, that will give you a, a bit better idea uh, you know how the end to end flow works so i hope you got it a bit but yeah if you wanted to learn this in detail where you want to set up complete btp uh, ci cd pipeline and uh, you want to understand see each and every configuration how it works in the production environment and uh, we are well capable of uh, showing you that in our training so uh, we can target in other training we have a lot of courses available like btp administration uh, which is for btp basis people btp security identity and access management application security platform security so it is recommended for btp security and administrate administrators and uh, ieg this is for mostly uh, sap security people and grc consultants and btp devops uh, this is for people maybe there is no such devops team normally be in sap i would say this is a corresponding devops but developers and administrators can also go ahead and learn this to uh, you know keep their uh, you know reach in job market a bit wider okay and then uh, btp capoms it's for purely for developers who want to develop the application on btp using node js php java ruby dot net any of the programming languages right and this is again btp developed with prep uh, our app btp development with rap and where we use a bap environment and we code in a bap language to maybe extend any on premise systems what we have uh, or do customization on premise system or develop cloud native web applic application right and then we have btp extension should this completely talks about if want to do customization your on premise system you can do the customization on btp uh, without touching your uh, on premise code and also you can do extension development of uh, cloud sap cloud systems as well like sales cloud commerce cloud marketing cloud and all those right and also you have integration shoot one more course we have where we develop integration this is uh, recommended for all sap pipo consultant like we have in this iflows they can design they can do api management event mesh integration advisor uh, trading partner management integration assessment there are a lot of seven or modules you have within integration should which you can come and learn with us and then we have build process automation where you can develop automation like uh, if i just take example where uh, maybe uh, these functional people you know sap functional people uh, they definitely uh, do uh, uh, you know uh, some of the tasks so you can do one thing you can record the screen of whatever steps they are performing in gui and uh, if uh, again that same task need to be done then you can just run that automation it automatically do for you so maybe a set of configurations you do in your in your s4 system and you can record each and every step in build process automation and again if you want to do it you can just trigger this automation it will do it for you you don't need to do anything right so there are other use cases as well which we can learn in this uh, build process automation this is recommended for any uh, you know functional consultant this is for btp build apps using which you can uh, you know you can learn this uh, to be able to develop a, a good full stack application without writing code right so it's a low code no code application development you can develop mobile application you can develop uh, android ios and uh, you know websites as well on this okay again we have one more course btp ai if you are interested in uh, doing learning ai services on btp then this course is for you and you can go ahead and learn and there are other courses as well i have like signavio sac planning sac bi data sphere and all if you wanted to learn any of the sap technologies you know you can reach out to us and i would also would like to show you 
a bit about our delivery. OK, so normally I have just taken an example of one of the courses like BTP administration security course, which is started on 6th of January. It's a live instructor -led training and normally it will not be filled like this. But yeah, we have already conducted seven sessions and after each session we can we, you know, we upload recording for that particular session and then, uh, you know, you have a document for that session and then you have a assignment for day one, then day two recording, day two assignment and then day three, uh, you know, recording and day three presentation and again assignments so every day you get assignments and at the end of this session you also get a to do mock test right and you'll get scores completion certificate and it is going to be completely hands-on uh, you know and i would uh, request you to go ahead and subscribe our youtube channel for these there are a lot of videos already available or very detailed videos are also available on btp administration security automation integration which you can go and learn basics and other uh, you know, uh, uh, other other services, what I already explained, you know, there is a video available for each of these services. You can go and learn about this. OK, thank you so much. I hope you like this video. Please go ahead and like and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much. Bye. -bye.